Hello and welcome to the Floyd Models Friday Catch Up Show. Here we are with you on the 16th of February 2024. <clears throat> Joined still by the lovely Kareem. Yes. Are you enjoying your time here? Yes, very much. So you, the weather's better today. It's not yeah, raining. Yeah, no, it's sunny. Nice I'm and really, sunny day. Really happy. Yeah. Very nice. Nice to see a bit of sunshine. Yeah. Anyway, really busy week this week, and as you can probably tell by the logo, I'll get see I'll get another thing about pointing towards your chest, but <laughs> you might see there. But I can do another one. The reason Kareen is over here is obviously we've, I've worked with Kareen now for the last eight years. Yeah, I know eight years. Eight years. Eight oh. years we've been sort of doing bits and pieces together. Yeah, amazing. Uh, anyway, um, Kareen is now heading up our brand new venture, which is the Flory Models Europe. All right, so big thing for us. Yep. We are launching Flory Models directly into Europe. So Karine is going to be heading it up and she's <coughs> going to be in charge of it all and she's going to be doing all your orders and anything else to do with it. We're going to be doing some shows, promotion work, uh, you name it, we're going to be doing it. So we're really trying to push um, Flory Models into Europe to make it just easier. Obviously with Brexit and everything that happened with that, it's just so difficult to get orders quickly, efficiently and cheaply. Uh, out to you guys so Corrine is going to have stock with her um, and then at the moment you're going to be placing orders through Flory Models but they will all be shipped from the Netherlands from Corrine's extensive warehouse <laughs> <laughs> uh, directly to you guys in Europe so what does this mean technically what it means is it will be cheaper postage quicker postage clearly because it's not coming out of the UK and all the rest of it and also no customs fees so obviously one of the biggest bugbears that we've done over all of this has been the customs fees that are a bit on top. So you have to pay your VAT, then you've got your custom fees on top. So obviously none of that will apply, all right? So literally you can just place your order at the moment directly with me, which will be over onto the actual Flory Models site. It's all explained down in here, as well as a little bit about it. But <coughs> anything that is inside the European Union will be shipped now from the Netherlands direct to you. So obviously it'll just be a lot quicker and cheaper, a, a lot more efficient, all right? So that's the whole point of it. So Kareen will be dealing with all your orders, getting them all out to you just like that. So Kareen will be stocking the entire range of everything that we do as well, basically down in here, all right? So if you need anything, you can get it just like that. For the moment, it's gonna work like that. Long term, or hopefully quite soon-ish, um, there's gonna be a dedicated Flory Models <coughs> EU website all right or flooring models europe website which will then be just that's it you'll go direct to there so what will happen is on the Flory model site it will just basically be uk and rest of the world here and then obviously all eu orders you'll just click on there it will take you through to it and you can purchase them and do it directly just like that in the meantime if you do click on flooring models um uh, dot eu you'll be whisked away to the uh Braveco website which is obviously kareen's home uh, and her own business and everything else like that. If you click on the Flory Models, you can do, click in down in here and you can buy directly from there as well, all right? So again, you've got all the information down in here like this. And then obviously, as we said on here, if you wanted to buy uh, the thick washes, you just click down below. And avid has been very busy. Yes. Very, very busy <laughs> yeah. doing this. And we've got I'm busy all, over here. That's it. You're busy over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Very busy, uh, the pair of you, um, sorting this out. So again, you've got all the washes with bits and pieces. <coughs> and there'll be some more stuff added to this one as we make our uh, way through as well. So you can go directly, if you like, through Braveco and get it direct from them. Or you can come through Flory Models. But all of the stuff that anybody who's in the EU puts in an order is going to go out via the Netherlands now. Just to make it a little bit more quicker and efficiently and everything else. One of the big things obviously we've been working on all week is translations as well, because we appreciate not everybody speaks English. And as we spoke about on last night's show, I don't even speak English. <laughs> and judging yeah, by you the speak it, but you, you can't write it. You no, know, I yeah. definitely can't write it. No. So consequently, what Karina has been here doing all week is translation work and things like that. <clears throat> so we've been setting all of this up, doing all the translations, and I've had to explain what brushing on wash is and uh, all the different things yeah. trying to put it into more of a i would call it a layman's terms i don't mm -hmm. know what you would call it but simplified version about the instructions about using the washes and all the things like that so cream being clever has basically done it in clever. uh obviously dutch translated everything into dutch and obviously into german and then over time we're going to be getting it into maybe french and then we've got 
Some someone who nice member yeah, yeah, is yeah. going to help us out with the Spanish, Spanish uh, yeah. and all the different languages. And then you can either, we're not quite sure how it's going to work yet, but it may be just that they're different ones below each other, or I might sort it out. So on the website, you just pick on your flag and everything will be in your language, yeah. which hopefully will just make things a hell of a lot easier. Because yeah. as we found out, translations are how I say things as well. <laughs> yes. Just into English apparently don't work very well. So let alone putting it into German or into Dutch <laughs> yeah. or French or Spanish or <clears throat> anybody else's language we end up doing. Yeah. So it's a big project we want to do. We're pushing it a lot. Obviously a lot of you know Corinne anyway. She does been doing a hell of a lot with obviously with display stuff uh, through Braveco and uh, now she's flying the flag for us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very proudly. And we're very proud of her as well for taking it on. So big thank you for doing this and all the work you're, you're putting in because yeah. I must admit Nothing. you literally haven't stopped since you've landed on Monday. No, no, no. no. So <laughs> yes, so we've got lots of that coming our way. So that's our sort of big announcement. We've got big things coming on as well. You've seen the logo just then. Obviously Green's got it on there. So there will be a line of merch going along with it as well. So we're very proud for David. Well, I'm not wearing one tonight, yeah. but you've got yours on. Uh, obviously designed the artwork for us, did a fantastic job. So we've got our new lady as well, which we're going to call Kareen because... <laughs> That's yeah. you. Yeah. So that's it. I wish. So, it's a younger you. <laughs> yeah, a lot younger. A lot. So yeah. So anyway, really excited about it. Hopefully it just makes things easier. One of the biggest problems we've had as a company since Brexit is dealing with Europe. It's just paperwork, bureaucracy and time. Everything just takes so long to get in and out of the UK that I can understand people's frustration. You know, if you're in the EU and you want washes or various bits and pieces, <clears> it's <throat> the time it takes to get to you. And then you get charges on top. And I think it's just rubbish. Um, yeah. So anyway, not a problem anymore because no. Karen's going to be doing it all. That's why it's called Brexit. Yes. Not Brexit. That's it. Brexit. No. Definitely. Oh, yeah. So it's yes, terrible. it is terrible. So anyway, we're just trying to make this work and hopefully you guys will love it all. Any feedback and things like that clearly is always welcome as usual. So apart from doing everything this week, we have been working as well. So there's lots been going on in the background. So this week up, we've got uh, part seven was up on Monday of the uh, fantastic HK models B25 Mitchell. Again, it's a standing kit. Uh, down in here, I was doing the old wavy lines. I did cheat, I used the template because I can't do a draw a wavy line even. All right, and then using it as masking. So we masked up all the sort of gray areas we needed to protect and then we could actually come in then with uh, lightened up some green paint. So the green paint we're using as tacker, wasn't happy with it, it was too dark in my eye. So we wanted to lighten it off the bat, so we added a little bit of lacquer-based uh, lemon paint, or yellow, uh, down into this one, and then mixed it in, so it just naturally lightened the green off the bat. <coughs> and then we put down a base coat of that right the way over the entire model. Being Hataka stuff, it went down absolutely beautiful, no problem at all with that one, all right? Uh, so that was up with you on Monday, we had that one there. On Tuesday, we had the Phil and Matt anchoring show, because she was up with us as well. So. Uh, she joined us with this particular show don't forget tuesday shows are free to watch just turn the sound off there we go and uh, we were all on me and matt together with kareen and we were talking about everything as we wake our way through one of the biggest things is i'll talk about it in a minute as well is that now pm models takes uh car payments directly so no more paypal yay uh and flory model sites probably going to follow suit with this as well so you can pay it says credit card take no notice it's any type of card it's just for some reason they call it credit card payments credit card debit cards or you can do paypal or you can use clear pay as well if you want to spread your payments out using a bit of a credit system as well so that's a new thing with pm so obviously we were talking about that as we were going right the way through then we were talking about the latest kit releases some of the new stuff coming out like the zero uh looks really nice another one from border model in 35th scale we were talking about palettes because <laughs> everyone needs palettes uh and obviously the uh latest release from mini art which is obviously the new thunderbolt the 30 re version Really nice markings in that one as well. We were talking about it's a basic kit, and I really thought they weren't going to bother going back with basic kits as well. And obviously, some new stuff coming around as well, like the Gloucester Sea Gladiator with the Navy pilots as well on a very shiny deck. <laughs> uh, so, yes, all of that. And obviously, we we're talking about what I was up to as well. And then we were looking at various things, obviously, what Matt had been up to uh, on one of his bases down on there and he's been doing and then i was looking at some amazing new stuff that karina brought over from display including a absolutely legendary and i know it's 100 quid and i know everyone's going to say it's 100 quid but i've had lots of people message me now i've had this and said yes it's 100 quid but it's the best thing they've ever bought 
And yeah, it's not a crystal ball. I've not turned into <laughs> Mystic Meg. It's literally a vice, but boy, is it a vice. It is absolutely amazing. Um, it's sturdy. You can put it at any angle and it's just wonderful. If you're a figure painter and you just, we often talk about a tool that you buy once and it just, that's all you need. This is it. It is absolutely mega. But thank you to everybody who reached out to me and said, they know it's 100 quid, seems a lot of money, but honestly, it's best money spent. It really is very nice as well. And Kareen's fantastically given me one, <laughs> yeah. which I'm going to treasure. And Matt is very jealous. And Matt's extremely jealous because <laughs> he wants one as well. Plus the fact we were looking at the uh, lineup or a new lineup of scrape cleaners or shanks as I call them, lethal. After we came off air, it became available. They do a handle for it. So I think the way that Dispay is sort of pushing this is that it comes with a metal handle with covers each end. And the, the shank bit, that bit, is literally uh, like a replacement part. So you keep your handle and when that thing breaks or wears out and all the rest of it, you buy a new one. That's why it's just got those little rubber covers and it's not exactly exciting. But it's a beautiful piece of kit, lovely engineered and all the rest of it. Then we were looking at vices and then we were looking at the entire lineup of tweezers. And they do some really nice tweezers as well, including these big flat ones. Um, and they do them all the different shapes and curves and everything else like that. So I highly recommend popping back and seeing that particular show as well. So if you'd want to have a look at that one, it is free to watch. It is up on uh, the usual YouTube and obviously just pop on the site and you can go off and you can watch that one as well. Then Wednesday happened. Ah. Okay. I'm a poor lady. You poor lady. Yes. And you put me in a very bad light doing yeah. that. Sorry. <laughs> and I do apologise for taking advantage of you. Yes. And everything okay. else. Apologies okay, so just to it. put this into, <laughs> into context, again, this is because this is a members only vlog. Uh, a lot of people saw this. Well, I say a lot of people, it's one person, and it started a little bit of a thing on our Facebook page saying about, you know, I was taking advantage and stuff like that. For people who don't know, Kareen is like, does this professionally. She has slogans on her t shirts when she goes around and do the shows around yeah. Europe. Um, and then, well, to be honest, I can play you a clip. Hold on, let me play it and it'll be easier. People Just understand. before Christmas, you did a little video for us. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you did a bit of a shout out, wasn't it? For yeah. some ideas for t-shirts. Yes. So if you don't know, I won't show all the pictures again, yeah. but Green has a habit of writing stuff all over her chest. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, when I go to a show, mm. I like to wear t-shirts with uh, text. And I asked <clears> you <throat> to send some text and there were really funny ones. Mm. So I picked one. And I want to show you. Mm -hmm. Here we have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a look, show. Look. 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 <laughs> and you can see. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. Clive. You've even Clive. got your name on there. <laughs> Clive has sent yes. me a fine pair of nips. So, yes. Yes. So, I'm really <clears throat> glad I like it. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like it. Yes. 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 <laughs> I think it's great. <laughs> uh, so, Clive, if you would send us an email or something with uh, the address, yes. so I can send you uh, a gift because mm -hmm. I'm really happy with your text. Yes. Yeah. So, so yes. yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. So, well done, Clive. So, yeah, shoot us a message on the forum, preferably it's the quickest way. Um, Kareen has actually brought some stuff to send to you, so it is here. Yeah. I'm not going to say it and spoil it. It's very cool. Cool. Um, yeah. and it's literally there i'm looking at it uh but she will we will get that in the post to you tomorrow uh, as soon as well as soon as i got your address is that we might have it but it might be an old address and i don't want to send it somewhere in case you're not still yeah. at that address so send us your address clive and we will get that out to you tomorrow All right? yes so yes thank very you very good job the other ones were also funny but yeah i had to pick some mm -hmm. yeah you did and i thought well a fine pair of nips is always nice hmm. <laughs> very good yeah there's the other one. And by the power of editing, there is the other one. So well done to Tony Davy. Tony Davy. <clears throat> Thank you. Who wants to see my stash? Yes. <laughs> so you've got that one as well. So again, same thing goes to um, Tony. If you send us uh, a message, probably the easiest way is over on the forum. Again, we've got something very yeah. very special yeah, i yeah. haven't pre brought over something very very special for yeah. you as well so thank and we you as well as a thank you but yes. yes thank you to everybody who did them yeah. as well but they're yeah, your yeah. two favorite ones that you went with so yes, yes. yes. so we can expect to see kareen wearing that this season's fashion shows. parade yes. at the shows we go to uh eme in germany and mm -hmm. uh, uh oh, smc smc later yeah. on in the year yeah in, Which... the, in the netherlands mm -hmm. esm in the netherlands 
and lots of others oh, yeah <laughs> so yes good job right okay then guys we will leave it so yes there we go that puts it in a little bit of context of what that actually was it was a competition that kareem did just before christmas for slogans and you had loads and loads of entries and kareem picked her top three and then obviously had them done for t-shirts which she wears at all yes. the shows so that's what that is it's not clickbait although all right it probably was for that one but it's not yeah. clickbait because you couldn't watch it and that was the whole point yeah so i was being a bad example for the younger children yes for the younger girls mm -hmm. because they were offended by this and i think it's it's just let them see me being as one of the few um, women in the modeling world being a businessman a mm -hmm. businesswoman yes so okay even with a t-shirt on you can be a businesswoman absolutely and independent you, you independent do. but she, yeah he said i was a poor lady mm -hmm. i'm not a poor yeah i'm poor i don't have the no money cash. Yeah, no yeah, cash. A, yeah i've not got the cash but yeah it was really terrible mm -hmm. so i told him mm -hmm. in nice words that yeah i can't understand that he's saying things like that even especially he didn't see the show yeah yeah taking he it just, out of context just and again just have to say thank you to the guys who had seen the show who put the context and yeah. the reasons why it was on yeah. and that's what it was yeah. but definitely kareen is not a poor lady <laughs> no, i've known no. this lady for eight years <laughs> i wouldn't mess with her no. to be honest so yes definitely anyway moving on from that one we continued on to thursday night so obviously it was the member show so we were flying the flag. Look, we're both in matching yep. tops. Yep. Uh, obviously, the members knew about what we were talking about with the new Flooring Models Europe site <clears throat> uh, and going through. And then basically, we were just going through everybody's usual things. So we were talking about, hold on, that's those bits. Where are we? We were talking about all the various things. So Nathan, he was uh, doing the conversions on the 109s as well. So he's really putting some work into those as we found out with photo etch, well not photo etch, but brass tiny tubes for the exhaust and all the various bits and pieces. So he's doing a fantastic job with that. Uh, John's been really busy working on that massive Havoc, the 30 second scale A20, looking absolutely stunning. Really, really nice looking kit. I am jealous. I don't want to do big kits anymore, but I'm very jealous of John because he's doing an absolutely stunning John, uh, job on that one. Um, Andy, he's still playing with the world's smallest plane and he's still got a hairy arm. <laughs> after last week so um but yes so he's been working on the fly catcher and it and highly highly detailed with all the various parts going into that one so it's a long old job with that one um and to be honest uh, andy and matt have been really busy at the store this week sorting out all the stuff for the real colors which we'll talk about in a moment so been very busy on that one i was discussing ask desk calls is it arse or arse but anyway <laughs> i've had problems with those but you'll hear about all about that in a moment and then obviously we were looking at your great work as well sorry i'm just clicking off of people uh so um we've got um joe's absolutely stunning uh tractor down in there just trying to find out everything is uh, there we go uh we've got the fantastic job down in there on oh, these cool. ones everyone's moving away i'm i'm looking for it i'm looking yeah. for it yeah. there we go oh, the yeah. fantastic pickup truck for this week so we're picking out our favourites. So uh, definitely all the stuff that took our eyes. Plus the fact all the other ones as well. We had a very nice 109 uh, and all the other. Oh, and a great Catalina, wasn't it? Beautiful Catalina. If I get this up, playing the right places. Our one ways. I'm just looking. Oh, yeah, we had the Typhoon. Anyway, members, go off and see it. It's well worth it. Some beautiful work down in there as well. Plus the fact we're answering all your questions that came up. So we were working our way through loads of questions last night answering those to all the members and it is on there so it obviously for members it's a live show the live chat is open for that particular one and we have it every other thursday 7 30 till 9 if you want to join us for a few giggles and a laugh and all the things that go along with it as well you are more than welcome to come along and watch it with that and that brings us bang up to today so up today we've got the next part of the hk uh, 48 scale b25j and again yes so a couple of parts down into this one green work going on so after getting the base of the green coat on there we added further um, yellow into the actual paint as well and started to lighten it up all right and as you can see really started to lighten up the centers of those panels and go right the way through so that was working very well then we added some gray into it just to knock it back a notch just to fade it out and went over and did it again with gray so a little bit of gray mixed in with the yellow which is mixed in with olive drab just to fade it all back and then we had a look at unmasking it and i'm really happy to say the unmasking came out very, very nice indeed. So we had no bleeds or anything else uh, on that one and it came through lovely. Then we went and put the decals on. And to be honest, at this point in the video, everything's going swimmingly well. But unfortunately, 
I can't report it in real life because I've had an absolute nightmare with the Ask decals. They have, they are very thin. They're incredibly fragile. If you fold them, they snap. They don't fold, they snap. And they've just been giving me no end of trouble. So we started off, usual thing. So we went in there with the old uh, micro set underneath because it's quite mild i think and then we went in with the sole afterwards to get these decals to conform and go in and then literally nothing happened didn't touch it so then i went through my repertoire of everything else i've got so we used some tamiya mark strong we did that one we used some uh, mr mark set stuff as well setter stuff as well didn't really touch it what i have got them to go is start to bed down now if the camera's going to play ball as you can see it's starting to go in but they are awful. They're sort of lumpy, bumpy and really, really struggling to go down. But we are sort of getting there. Luckily for us, because, you know, they're beginning to break up now as well. But I'm putting that down to chipping and weathering and it does seem to be going. But the only way I could actually get these decals to play ball. And when I say play ball, it's, yeah, they're just a nightmare. Is literally I've used a sort of 50-50 mix with a micro sole and some hyper, sorry, uh, some hyper sole, some of the Ajima stuff. And as you know, if you've ever watched anything I do, you'll know this stuff is like alien blood. It is so strong. If you've got thin decals, especially like this, it will eat them alive. They will literally dissolve. So I thought it'd be too strong on its own. So I mixed it 50-50 and it does seem to be doing the trick. And this has had probably 20 coats now to get these to bed in. And now we're starting to sort of work. But again, they're looking a little bit rough and I've been going over it with a knife to get them to open up over the panel lines and to get the silver. And you can see down in here, that's why I don't like using this stuff. It's so strong, it's actually marked. It's not a problem because we're going to cover that up with weathering. But that's why it is lethally strong, this stuff. But it is getting there. So I really was contemplating taking all these decals off, sanding it all back, redoing it and then going down another route. But I think we'll be okay now because they are starting. But you can see, catch it in the light, the lumps and bumps in there. Yeah, it's just been an absolute nightmare. Again, I'd love some feedback. So if you've used some of the old uh, Ask Decals before, i.e. these things, I'd love to know how you got on with them. Because as I say, first time I've used them properly in anger, I've used some of the, um, the word letterings for markings, but then I've used the kit <coughs> ones for big stuff. I've never used it all on its own before. And to be honest, I'm just having a nightmare. If you had a nightmare with them, let me know in the comments down below, because I would really like to know if it's just me. Yeah. If it's just me, then fair enough. But if other people are struggling as well, then I think they need to sort something out because they have just been a little bit of a nightmare all over. Anyway, that was about it for this week, but it doesn't stop there. So over on the PM store, uh, obviously lots of things in the special offer this week. So we've got some really nice one, including that new Thunderbolt at a great price of just 35, well, 36 quid down in there. Loads of ICM stuff and some really nice stuff as well. So we've got some of the bookers with the actual crew or a sort of standalone. We've got obviously the chopper as well and uh, some, well, loads of stuff. I won't name them all because we've got lots of it down in here. Again, you know me, I love ICM, great kits, great jump kits as I call them. So you can just build them straight out of the box or they make a great jump starter to super detail it up as well. So you can go through those and some really nice options down in there. And I built that MiG-25 and it is stunning all right especially the broncos as well so lots of icm to get your teeth into so if you fancy any of those you can do it we've got some vehicles some <coughs> figures as well so if you want to grab any of those we've got them down in there also we've got some of the nice stuff from hobby 2000 most of it seems to be reboxes from hasagawa some really nice classic kits down in there nice markings and all the stuff that go with it as well some good stuff there a couple of bits of sword as well you name it we've got it and some of the other hasagawa down bits down below as well including that osprey which is a great kit have to say fantastic kit on that one some of the big things that are going on at the moment obviously over on the pm store is that as we all know real color version one is coming a bit to its end so we did take off all the real colors from the site so we could just make out what paints we've still got in stock because we are getting low now and then we are told that version two in a dropper bowl will be out in around about march but we are getting low and at the moment we can't replace stocks because AK is running them down as well. So if you do see something, grab it whilst you can. Great point was made for all the people saying about, I hate dropper bottles and all the rest of it. I would use these then, a bit like the fabric softeners they say now, keep the glass bottle, buy the one in a dropper bottle and then put it into your glass bottle. So problem solved. All right, so that's what I would go for. But we are getting low on them now. So when it's gone, it's literally gone until the new type comes in. All right, and we don't know exactly when that is. We've been told it's sometime in a March, 
but when in March, I'm not too sure. So anyway, be coming along. The big thing is now that the actual site takes this new card system as well. So all the people who've had problems with PayPal and all stuff like that, then obviously you can then come along now and just use your card straight off the bat and you're nothing to do with PayPal whatsoever over on the PM store. As long as it all works perfectly, I'll be following suit. So my <laughs> site will have it once I know they get their money. But uh, it does seem to be working really well at the moment, no problem at all. So if you want to go through and get them down in there. Loads of restocks in this week, including obviously the SMS paints. We have had a load more SMS paints been brought in this week. So our range is getting bigger and bigger. Just as soon as our, the UK sort of importer gets them in, we're getting them in as well. So they're in there just like that. And on the other side as well, we've got the new range of SMS metallic paints. So we've got some nice stuff down in there as well with the actual metallics range. And again, I will get some sent down to me and then I'll have a play with them. And obviously I'll do a little bit of an on test and I'll tell you what I like. For anyone who probably doesn't know, they are like MRP paints. They're pre-thinned lacquers ready to go straight out of the bottle. So very, very fine pigment count on those. So if you want to get any of those ones, you can do. Usual thing as well, we've had various other tools and bits and pieces <coughs> put in this week. So if you want to grab anything from there, you can do as well. All right, so lots go in the PM store. I suppose I better give you a plug. <laughs> so don't forget, if you do want anything from Dismay, <laughs> you can come along uh, obviously to the Braveco uh, website. So it's bravecomodeling.nl. I will put the links down in all to these and all the bits we were talking about this week as well. So we've got the holders, which I've got here as well, and the vices and all the bits, they are down in here. So if you want anything from the actual, well, you call it DSP, I've re-butchered the name and call it Dispay. Yeah, I know. Uh, range of tools. You know me, I've got a lot of their stuff. I absolutely love it. It's not cheap, but the quality is amazing. It's buy once, buy right. So you can pop over uh, to Braveco. They do lots of other bits as well. So if you want to grab anything from them, then Karina will be getting your orders winging out to you next week. All right. And then last up, we do have to mention <laughs> Diorama Mag. No. <laughs> <laughs> dioramic dioramic yes okay so these are dioramic magazines or it's not a magazine is it it's a book yeah it's, it's a, a square yeah. bound beautiful book Karine yeah. is doing these as well Dutch um, di distributor Dutch distributor for them so they're basically step by step how to so it's in a magazine type of format but it's really a book oh, the smell of new. oh it is yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. I love really it isn't it <laughs> I know I do everything digitally, and but sometimes you get a book, and you know me, guys, I'm a sucker for a book. But um, as I say, a lot of modelers, a lot of modelers. Yeah. It's nice to have something as well. So uh, Kareen uh, is the um, European, well Dutch, no, Dutch. sorry Dutch um, distributor yeah. for these. So if you want to get any of these, you can get these through her as well, and they are absolutely fantastic. Really, really <coughs> nice. Good. Not just the dynamic, mm -hmm. also the other one. Oh, the ones, um, uh, also this one, um, Abram Squad ones. Abram Squad. Yes. Yeah. 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 So yes. So if you want to get any ones from there, you can do as well. So highly recommend. I'll pop all the links down, the descriptions down below for everybody, and you can go off and have a proper look around them uh, as we do on normal. And then we want to ask Clive W. And yes. Tony, Tony Davy. Tony Davy. Get in touch. Yeah. Because there's something down in there. I'll give a clue. <laughs> And it's not, no, I won't do that joke. I've had enough nope. trouble this week. <laughs> yeah. So but it's a really nice bit of kit and I use mine all the time. Hence, it's right there. And yeah. you get a few other bits and pieces as well with it as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So get yeah. in touch. Otherwise, yeah. well, I'll keep them because you're going to go home <laughs> yeah. on Monday and I'll, I'll just keep them. Yeah. So, yes, yeah. good job with that one as yeah. well. So, yes, I have to say and thank you for this week. Yeah, thank you. No, no, thank you okay. for fixing all my spelling, all my yeah. grammar, yeah. teaching me how to use punctuation. <laughs> yeah as well who knew but yes and yeah other words and other words yes yeah. so yes it's great having you here yeah, it's been it's an absolute great being blast. here yeah, yeah. no it um, really has been a lot of fun as well love um, to work together yes and good luck yeah. with flory models europe thank you yeah it would be the first show we are going to is um what was it the 23rd of march mm. to lingen in germany yes so we will promote over there also mm -hmm. the flory models europe yeah, and then hopefully, obviously, as well, I'll be coming over to Europe as well. We'll be doing a few of the yeah. shows together as well. Yeah. So it'd be great to meet you, some of you guys as well from that part of the world because we really don't get out there enough. And as we all know, the European modelling scene is epic. Yeah. It really is good. Yeah. Cool. Yes. Okay, we will leave it right there. So yeah. big thank you for doing everything this thank week. Thank you. Yeah. Star Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Thanks, Clive and yeah. Tony. Yes. And all the other 
members who helped me mm -hmm. on Facebook. <laughs> yes, that's it. <laughs> For not being a poor lady. A poor lady. <laughs> All right. We'll let it go now. Yes. Calm down. <laughs> right. Okay. As always on a Friday, I'm going to leave you with your great work from the gallery. So until Monday, everybody, happy modelling. Take care. Bye. Have a nice weekend. Bye bye. Yeah.